Welcome back to this episode and we are proceeding from where we stopped and we say that we are going to reverse make sure that you have posted the transaction so that we can reverse and I hope you're all doing great and at times we make mistakes during postings and human is to error and you can make a mistake in the batch processing and you'd imagine if you have maybe over 150 customers and you're posting this transaction and you've made a mistake you'd want to change it but again in, if an entry you have we have an entry like the one we have done where we have in the same entry we have posted and credited and debited applied and then applied in the same transaction we might not be able to reverse it as a batch so <clears throat> a lot of care should be taken when you're doing these batch transactions because at times you may you might not be able to do the reversal because the ideal place to do a full reversal will be in the gl registers for this transaction which we have done but i've done a small reversal like uh, let me say let me pick this transaction this is the ideal place to do a reversal of a transaction this is a transaction i did in a previous video so you just go to the gl registers identify your transaction that you posted and then click on reverse register so you see you cannot reverse register number 143 because it contains customer or vendor or employee agent entries that have been posted and applied in the same transaction so you have debited credited like that is applying and you have posted and then applied in the same transaction so it prevents you to reverse and it tells you to reverse one by one so imagine you have 150 customers who need to do and you need to do a reversal for each one one by one separately so that will be a real it will be a big challenge to do the reversals one by one and a lot of care should be taken with these batch transactions to make sure that you have done the right thing during posting to avoid a lot of work during reversal but and um, so we'll just show you how to do the reversal for that particular transaction you need to view the particular customer and uh, after you have viewed you can go to the drill down of the balance and click on the balance so that you can see the transaction and our transaction is here with us the october pay that we have done the annual payment you can see the credit and the debit the total debit for all those transactions so i would like to reverse either of them remember it is it will be seen as a whole batch with all these transactions but i would like to reverse the payments everything one by one so i'll start with this uh, let me start with this payment that we had done and i go to the process and then i go to reverse transaction so you can clearly see that this payment it is only containing the entries on of the first journal line that had the customer and a balance gl account remember the other transaction the second transaction for the charges is not under this the one that balanced with three different gls is not under this so you could be having uh, this is where now a lot of care needs to be taken you want to reverse the whole transaction you need to do it twice because this is the first entry that had um, a, a gl account this is the gl account that you have selected and another gl account and then the customer that we posted to and it was the five thousand the payment amount so when we reverse this remember we have done the step one of the reversal so the entries were reversed successfully so we remain with the other entry that hasn't been reversed the 1800 entry and it is the one that is displayed so we can go ahead again and reverse this transaction again and it will show us now the breakdown that we have done for the different amounts so because we, we debited 1800 but credited 750 to 50 and 800 <coughs> on my throat today so we we credited now these uh, three other entries so we can even do a reversal for that and this other one is for the sub ledger the other one is for the jail entry and we can just do a reversal for these other entries as well and now we have done a full reversal to this particular customer can you imagine having 150 customers and you need to do two-step reversals for one to 150 customers so be, be really careful and uh, make sure you have explained uh, to the user the implication of batch processing because 
it is efficient gives you great power but with great power comes great responsibility so that's it for this video i hope you have gained some value from the journal um series if you have any other suggestion for a video that should is touching on the journal that a concept that is key that hasn't been touched on this series please post it in the comment uh, when i can i'll read them and review and uh, see where possible if i can be able to do it so may god bless you i will see you in the next series if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one